Well, hello once again, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are in State Game Land 221 in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania. It's a warm Sunday afternoon. As a matter of fact, it's supposed to be a record-breakingly warm day uh, in early March here. However, you wouldn't know that by the trail we're on, which is covered in ice, which is a bit of a surprise for me. So I'm making my way carefully down this trail and we are headed to the Devil's Hole, where we're going to be looking for some old ruins and then a little known waterfall called Devil's Hole Falls. We'll be telling you more about that as we go. Right now, I just want to make it down this hill at the beginning of the trail. All right, we are now at Devil's Hole Creek. There's a couple things I do know about this hike. I've never been here before. And I've seen and read some conflicting things online. I know that we're gonna have to cross this stream several times, at least. I know that we are going to find some ruins down the trail eventually. And we're also going to be looking for a waterfall beyond that point. Many people have come to this uh, place before. Many other YouTubers as well documented. The ruins are, but the waterfall not so much. I was only able to come across one uh, video anywhere on YouTube of the Devil's Hole uh, Waterfall. And that was by a fellow YouTuber named Chris Sanfino. And I did confirm with Chris that uh, the waterfall is upstream from the ruins. Uh, but we're going to try to document that waterfall. And uh, that's the main purpose of the hike today. But this looks like our first uh, creek crossing. So we may be getting a little wet on this hike. We've made it across the second stream crossing, but I'm having all kinds of problems on this hike. The tripod for my camera, one of the legs just broke. It had been getting a little crack in it and it finally went. So now I have to go to completely handheld shots. So things might look a little different. And uh, we're just continuing up the creek here. I don't know that there's a, a really well blazed path or not. This is just an exploration. We'll see how far we can get. Oh boy. So one thing I find interesting about this place is the name itself, the name Devil's Hole. Uh, I find often on my hiking adventures a lot of place names uh, using the word devil. Um, I camped once at a place called Devil's Tombstone. I know there's a boulder field in Pennsylvania called the Devil's Race Course. And I think that a lot of these places were named after the devil because of maybe some kind of tragic event or Maybe the forest there was dark and foreboding or difficult to traverse, but I am having some technical difficulties on this hike today, so I hope there's no, uh, no meaning to the uh, Devil's Hole Trail here today.
All right, guys. Let me take this opportunity to say hello to some of the some of the uh, new subscribers to the channel. Uh, as you may know, I recently last week did a hiking adventure with Hiker Dude Dad, a fellow YouTuber, and um, he's a great guy. We had a great time at Hawk Mountain there, and I just want to take this time to say hello and welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. We've got tons of adventures and uh, things planned to do for the foreseeable future and I try to get out onto the uh, most interesting trails and most unique places in Pennsylvania and the neighboring states so thanks for coming along on this adventure and here's to many more now I was looking up at these trees and I knew there was something a bit different about them and um, I'm looking at the bark here and uh, these are like these are spruce trees they're not hemlocks like I had thought they were and usually spruce trees uh, they do occur uh, natively in this area, but oftentimes they're planted in groves. So I'm not sure if these are were planted at some point for some reason, or they just grow naturally here. But I thought I saw a couple of younger spruces a little uh, a little while ago down the trail. So it's kind of interesting. So I reckon that uh, no one's ever accused me of being the uh, sharpest tool in the shed, eh? Maybe this hike would have been better done in, uh, oh, I don't know, summertime, spring. Uh, I can't even tell you what it's like, what my feet feel like going through that water. Woo! <laughs> That'll wake you up. Now, we should be approaching these uh, ruins of this old structure relatively soon and uh oh what is that i'm not exactly sure what this is maybe this is some type of really old uh animal trap fur bearers trap we are on state game land uh you wouldn't want to step on one of those barefoot i can tell you that This is so neat guys. Look at this. This has a total Blair Witch vibe to it. Wow. Imagine if these walls could talk. What stories would they tell? What secrets do they hold? What happened here? I don't know. I probably never will. But it's definitely a fascinating place surrounded by these tall, stately 
spruce trees. A turkey vulture is circling overhead. The place definitely has a vibe to it. Super cool, super cool place. And it's in good condition. I don't see any very little trash or vandalism, thankfully. That's uh, very fortunate. It's really hard to gauge the age of the building here. It can't be, it can't be too old. I see some, look at this. Look at this. I wonder if there was an original older structure and then later more was added to it. Wow. So awesome. Right here on the creek. My friends, nature, adventure, discovery. How cool is this? Thanks for coming along on another adventure. This is a good one. Glad I came to check this place out today. I appreciate you for coming along with me. And we're not done yet either because we're gonna go see if we can find that waterfall beyond this point. Everybody pretty much who does come out here and it is quite an effort to get out here, I'll tell you that much right now. But to those that do make it out here, turn around here. But we're gonna see if we can find that secret waterfall a little further down the stream. Definitely wouldn't want to spend the night out here. Definitely had that Blair Witch vibe to it. But uh, let's continue on now, see if we can bushwhack our way up the stream. And I want to show you where it looks like there was an avalanche or something where this, these rocks continue falling down the uh, hillside here. But I'm not sure what's going on with that either. I don't know if GoPro is going to pick it up, but this whole section of the hill is completely cleared of debris as if there was a landslide here at some point it's interesting rocks keep rolling down that hill there's all kinds of uh, indications of uh, buildings back here all over the place there's another foundation of a wall on the other side of the stream there uh, there's something else over here let's check this out Here we have some more scrap steel on the ground. Some type of old uh, sink or wash basin. I'm starting to think that there may be something more to this theory of this place being some type of resort because there's structures all over the place. Here's another stone structure here that looks like a, a base of a chimney perhaps. I don't know, we'll have to get a better look at it. But that building is hardly the only one. Now the trail has taken us to this second chimney. Uh, and then it looks like it crosses again, crosses the creek again and goes up the hillside. And that will continue ultimately to a viewpoint, I understand, but I don't think it's a great one. What I wanna do is continue up the stream a little further to see if we can find this Devil's Hole uh, waterfall. That's my main goal here, so let's go. All right, my friends, continuing upstream here and definitely not on a trail now. Definitely bushwhacking. 
and I've come across some smaller cascades. Um, again, I'm not sure if this waterfall is going to be obvious or it's like a seasonal waterfall. Like one of those, it could be one of those smaller ones that just swells up on heavy rain. So I'm going to go a little bit further and if I can't find it, I'm just going to turn around. But it's a beautiful hike nonetheless. We're going to start losing light when that sun gets behind that hill there. So, I don't know. Lots of beautiful rapids. It's a beautiful stream. But I haven't come across what I would classify as a, you know, certifiable waterfall. We'll go a little further. It's really, truly wild and beautiful back here. Very few people probably come back here. Well, after all that effort, guys, I think we finally made it to the Devil's Hole. And it was quite a quest to get here. What a beautiful spot. Looks like very lightly used. This is gonna be some of the best and only footage on the internet of this waterfall. It's not a, a waterfall that's even really listed in the guidebooks or on the maps, but it's here and it's legit. All right, my friends, nature, adventure, discovery. We truly had all of that today. This was spectacular. I'm so glad I decided to come out here today. This truly felt like an adventure. The last half a mile or maybe three quarters of a mile was a bushwhack. We must have crossed the stream about seven to eight, maybe nine times. The waterfall at the end, Devil's Hole. If you wanna know how beautiful of a state Pennsylvania is, all you need to know is that that waterfall is virtually unknown. It's not really marked on maps. And what, I, what I'm showing you in this video today is one of the only known footages there are on YouTube, as far as I can tell. So this was a great experience. I want to say thank you. And I want to say I appreciate you. All of you who watch, who comment, and who have subscribed. It means a lot to a small channel like mine. So please continue the support, and I'll continue bringing you to these amazing places in Pennsylvania. Scenic Pennsylvania. But that's gonna do it for now. I'm running out of daylight. So until next time, I'll see you on the trail. Gator out.